Hello friends, uh, this is Akshay and welcome to the next part of the Firebase Cloud operation. So in this part, we are going to cover the edit operation. So let's see, let's see how we can, you know, achieve that goal. So we were successfully uh, creating some of the sections like adding the new value or displaying or reading the new value, right? So we in this section, let's let's cover out the rest of the part. So what we did in the last section, we successfully you know displayed the data. But what I did uh, in the fifth column, in the fifth column, what we have here, like the actions column, I didn't add any of the actions. So let's let's do that, and I'll explain you how uh, we are performing that. Right. So new HTML plus equal to. All right. So we again we are going to add a TD here. All right, so I'll just quickly add a TD. All right, and we'll quickly close it as well. Okay, we have closed it. Now, in between these two uh, a field, we are going to add one operation. All right, what operation it could be? It could be the edit operation. All right, so we, in order to perform the action or any any uh, you know event, we are uh, we can either use a button or uh, the link or the anchor tag so we will be using the anchor tag here okay so in between these two column i'll be adding the anchor tag okay so let's add the anchor tag and uh, i'll give this um, you know a tag edit class all right so i'll give this tag i'll just close it out here as well uh, so in this edit class uh, what you know what we'll do we'll perform the action by using the class uh, field so i'll tell you uh, you know how can we do that so um, and one more thing for everything like for deleting the uh, field for adding the field we have created models so I'll, I'll show you the edit model so this is the edit model what we have uh, i'm sorry uh, not this one yeah this one so this is the edit model we what we have so this is the id of the model and this is these are the fields all right what we have for editing the value of the current data okay so we will quickly add the data toggle property uh, and what we are toggling we are toggling the model all right okay so uh, now um, you know in this i'll just add one icon okay so we'll be adding the icon all right so i'll add the class here so what class can we use we can use material icon uh, you know class any class you can use whatever um, you know you can use favicons as well if you want so i'll be using material icons and i'll give uh, the class edit emp all right so uh, this is how we have created um, few things so far so i'll just quickly go to the next section i'll just add oh uh, okay let's 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 do one thing okay so let's let's put it uh, in the next line oh sorry let's put it in the next line so i'll just quickly close it here all right so ne next line let's add new html once again okay so we'll continue from there itself so now as you can see i have added the icon okay so we need to complete the data uh, a toggle property here so let's let's add the data toggle for so we will add uh, the data toggle here equal to tooltip all right you can skip it as well if you want to so this thing what i'm going to add now which will this will be the most the most important part of this tutorial so in order to pick uh, the id of the particular row for that particular action right we are going to use the date the employee id so in the HTML5, we have data properties, data attributes, uh, you know, for all the HTML tag where we can, we have the capability to create a custom kind of a attribute, right? So here we are going to do a similar thing. So I have created the data hyphen EMP hyphen ID 
attribute we are going we are going to assign one id to this uh, you know um, this particular attribute so i'll add the id as emp data dot well all right dot emp id right so uh, why i'm doing that for this particular column you know for this particular row this id would help uh, as the primary key or as uh, as a value we can differentiate amongst the other values right so uh, that's the reason i have added this particular field all right so i'll just give one more field here okay i'll just give the name and random name like edit here and then we need to close uh, the i button and we'll close i okay all right i guess i'm not doing anything wrong here okay i guess i am so let me okay we need we do not need to close it right now okay so here i'll just close it out and okay i'll just use All right, so I has uh, it's been given. Now we need to close the anchor tag. So we'll close the anchor tag here. Oh, oops, sorry. We'll close it out. All right, we're good. So so far we have successfully created uh, the action button. The action button. Let's reload the page and see see what what we are getting here. So you can see we uh, this is the icon. All right, we. Uh, when we click on it, we we are supposed to get the uh, the model, right? So these are the edit buttons what we have we have got. So next in uh, in the same column, uh, right? We are going to add one more button that would be a delete button, right? So that's the reason I have I I didn't close the TD column yet. So let's let's add one more uh, row here quickly, okay? So plus equal to now we need to continue from uh, where we left, right? So here in in this uh, we we will directly add the anchor button again. All right, we'll just directly add the anchor button. We'll give the class here. Okay. We'll give the class here, and we'll add the class. You can give any class, or if you don't want, you can skip it as well. So we'll, we'll later point of uh, time we'll give the class here. So we'll again use the data toggle uh, property. So what we are toggling, we 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 are toggling the model of this field, right? So we are toggling the model, and now as you can see, we uh, we need to create the icon again for this as well. Right, so I'll just copy the topmost code and I'll just paste it here. And I just need to change the you know class. All right, so in the next line, let's add the next line here, and we'll again add new HTML plus equal to. Now we need to again use the tool tip if you want, you can use that, and then you can use the same. You know structure almost uh, it would be same uh, except the text okay okay we are let's 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 copy the inner section only okay so we have added data toggle and uh, you know then we have added the employee ID then we have added the type title we can change and we need to change the code of the icon right so we need to change the code here and we can give the title as delete okay so let's reload the page and have a look are we getting the delete button okay there's some issue with the icon let's let's fix it what is the issue do we have okay we are reusing the correct code I guess we're not using some issue here so we have opened this 
Okay, I guess this might be the issue. Right. So we have open here and okay class we didn't give so let's 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 leave it for now data toggle property we have given okay okay we didn't close this one okay that might be uh, the issue let's save it and reload the page okay i hope this would work yeah you can see the icon is displaying now right so Let's see whether are we getting the models? No, we are not getting the models. I can, uh, I guess we didn't bind uh, the events, right? So now, what we need to do? We need to uh, first perform the edit operation, and then we can uh, perform the rest of the operation. So right now we are not getting the model here, right? Why? Because we are creating a dynamic data. So we need to create a dynamic model for this data as well, right? So in the next tutorial in the next part what we are going to do we are going to create uh, the model for the edit button all right so stay tuned guys and keep watching